Hey guys, today we be showing you how to make um a text in Sony Vegas have an actual texture. Um, we all know how to color a text with any color we want, but a lot of people don't know how to apply a texture to it. Um, the effect we're going to be making is the one that introduced this video. Um, some reason you missed it, it looked like this. And as you can see, um, we have nice uh, light in here. The texture has a the text has a texture over it, and we even have some fake shadows in here, and I'll be going over all this in this tutorial, and it's very simple, and let's go. First off, I'm going to open up Sony Vegas, and uh, I'll leave that open. I'm going to open another uh, Sony Vegas program thing. <sighs> Tired as hell. Just got off work. Okay, let's go. First off, we're gonna go to media generators. We're gonna drag in our text with a solid background, and we're just gonna type whatever we want. I'll do my username, and I'll choose something up. Choose this font. Maybe bring up the size a little bit. Maybe, maybe down actually, this will down some more maybe. Maybe take bold off. I don't know. Leave it on. I don't give a shit. Um, I'm going to name this track text. And I'll import a, the texture. What we're going to import now is um, the texture in which you want the, uh, the text to have. And a background image in which you want everything to be on. So I'm going to go to my downloads and I have uh, these metal textures I'll be using. got both of these just by googling metal texture. Basically what we're going to do now is we're going to drag in this uh, metal 2 texture which is the texture I want my text to have. And then below that we're going to drag in our background texture. We're going to go on to our video effects and we're going to go to mask generator and we'll just drag that on to um, our text. Make sure it's on luminance and we can exit out. We can change the compositing mode on that top layer to multiply. And already it kind of has the uh, the texture applied to it. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it. See it? Um, now we just gotta get rid of this black background. Very simple. All we have to do is go to the middle track here. I'll label this texture. And we just um have to make it a child of the text above. So right here, this little button says "Make Compositing Child." We're gonna press that, and bam, this falls into place. Right now, it's really hard to see, unfortunately, because of the textures I chose kind of blend a little bit. Um, you can play with color correction if you want. Maybe I'll play with levels. Bring the input end up, maybe make it a little bit brighter. I don't know. That looks pretty good. And um, that's how you apply a texture. Um, now let's go over um, how to make the fake shadows. Um, very simple. Let's just go to insert a new video track, and I'll name this uh, shadows. No, well, I'm gonna name this light. And this can be um, our artificial light. For this, we're gonna use bump map. I really like bump map. For the why is a really good um artificial light to things. Um, what I just did is called an adjustment layer. I created a new video track and I didn't put any MIDI on it. And I'm just going to drag in the video effect straight onto the track. And right now it's not going to do anything. But if you watched my last tutorial, you know what I'm about to do. I'm going to drag this composite box to the left of the bump map video effect. And bam, it starts to take its place. I can bring bump my height down a little bit. Maybe bring shininess up. And bring a change the light type to spotlight. Bring the intensity up a good bit. Focus can come down some. Ambience. Uh -huh. And uh, 
right here, DSTX, I'm gonna bring that over probably negative one. It'll just drag the light over to the left some more. And then um I want the light to move from the left up to the top, so I can just click animate. And right now we're we're working with a track with no media on it. So its default length is gonna be two minutes instead of ten seconds like the others down here. So uh, be careful. Earlier I made a keyframe at the very end thinking it was 10 seconds and it was really 2 minutes. I got really confused because it looked as if my uh, shadows were not moving at all. So I'm just going to go to the 10 second mark and then I'll drag this where I want it. And go to the end of the clip here. There we go. Change that to 0. And I will change the Y to negative 1 or positive one. Change the X to 0.5 just so it's a little bit more centered. Play around with this until we get something we we'll like. That looks pretty good to me. I'll bring focus up a little bit. Intensity can come up. Anyway, I think that looks pretty good. Now all we have to do is add the actual shadows themselves. Very simple, we're just going to go to the video effects on our text layer and we're going to add um, another video effect and it's going to be light rays. And uh, right there, click add, OK. And the color we're going to want to choose would be black. And what we're going to do is we're going to, dang, it's already been seven minutes. Dang, we're going to bring the blend all the way up. And then we're going to bring the strength all the way down. And this, I mean the sensitivity all the way down and the strength all the way up. And a lot of these preferences are going to be your choice. So you don't have to do exactly what I do. Bring that down so Animate. Go to the beginning. And already that looks pretty good. Um, I can probably bring strength up a little bit maybe. Let's make the shadows a little darker and a little wider and further. That looks pretty good. Now we can go click our go to the very end of the track here and go over one keyframe. And um I'll go over all the way on here and I will drag this up to the top because the shadows need to go down now so I'll we'll just get that pretty much dead center and um Hi. hello you go and look up a business called it's Alice's business but I'll get some business cards the letter A, the letter B and then creations okay what's wrong uh, I'll do it later. Well, Dad's want me to find it tonight so he can get y'all some business cards. He said he can't find it in the phone book, so I just want to see if he can find it there. Okay. Alright, I'll do it in a second. Every time. Anyway, um, I think that's it. I'll play it. Of course, it's going to lag. But, uh, I'll show you what it looks like right now. I think that looks pretty good. I don't think it can get much better. Well, of course it can, but change that preview full. Play it. And I think that looks pretty good. Um, maybe add some bump map to my, uh, what's it called? Text. I don't want really any intensity on it. Um, really the only thing I can add now is maybe some camera shape, and I have a preset for that, so. Handheld camera shape, play it, get a good little uh, artificial shake, hold on here. 
bring the composite over. And this is a new blue preset. Um, you can buy it or, you know, go through other means of acquiring it, like me. And it's pretty handy, especially if you want camera shakes. So now I'll have this uh, camera shake effect in it. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, took a little bit more time than I planned on for this tutorial, but hey, now you know how to make a texture on a text. And of course you can use any texture you want. It doesn't have to be metal. It can be, let's see, we can even flip these two around like this. See, you can do anything you want. It's all you. Have fun. Goodbye. Thank you.